Did you ever notice the top of your doors? No? Good. That means you've been living in blissful ignorance. Because once you notice this, you could never unsee it. That's not dust. That's historical sediment. Welcome to Make or Build It, where we solve problems you didn't know you had, but now absolutely can't ignore. Today we're making Dustin. Last time we created the fingernail of Vecna, which could suck bugs out of uh, bowl-shaped light fixtures. If you saw my fingernail of Vecna video, you already know I have a very specific hobby. Creating household cleaning items that are sort of eldritch props. But today I'm showing you how to do that with really basic shapes. So it's not so much about the thing you're making, it's how to use simple shapes in order to create something that is functional and useful like some kind of demon ghostbuster. Today we're aiming a little bit higher and the top of your doors are one of those places. They get filthy, they're awkward to reach, and a lot of times you're just like, I'm not getting the ladder out to do that. You could either ignore it, you could also wipe it off once a year and regret your life choices, or you could knock it off into your face and look like a Victorian chimney sweep. So I made Dustin out of a handful of really basic shapes. It eats dust and lives in dark places. Dustin is basically a vacuum head that actually fits perfectly on your door and it's angled so you don't have to become a ceiling goblin to reach up. The whole thing started with the idea of how can I use just a few basic shapes to make something functional. Because you don't have to be a designer to create useful things with design tools and your 3D printer. And most of you will probably say I'm not a designer anyway, but that's okay. Because I got Dustin. And the fingernail of Vecna. It's just some cylinders, a box, and creating the right angles. It's not over-engineered, it just works like a shovel or a hammer or a goblin with a vacuum. So before we open up Nomad Sculpt, now may be a great time to follow. So once we open Nomad Sculpt, we're just gonna delete the sphere. Then we're going to add in a basic cylinder. Now, this is going to be the long two part of our cylinder. So first we gotta change the width is 19.25. So let's make this 19. Let's just do it at 19 because we want to make sure it fits. And we'll do 19.25. We can always adjust it later on. So we see that's actually really large. Okay, get from where we were because we're starting with millimeters. So we want the height of this to be about five inches. So we're going to make this 127 millimeters. So this is gonna be part of our tube. Now the next shape, we're just gonna use another cylinder. And I'm just gonna clone this one. So let's just move it up. We are going to angle this one at roughly a 45 degree angle. Oh, and the other thing we wanna do is we wanna put a hole in this. And the same thing goes for this one. So see here, now we have a hole. So now we have holes in the two of these. Now we're just gonna just line these up. I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just closing that space to make it airtight. That looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be pretty. Now I'm just going to clone the cylinder one more time. So let's clone this one. So now we're just gonna take this one and we're going to attach it here. Now. I got that this is not perfect. I got that this is not fancy, but this is what we're going to use. Because the whole idea behind this is using basic shapes to make an item. We're gonna add one more shape and we're gonna add a box. So this we need to be 35.5. So we're just gonna take this, and it really doesn't matter. We just need to extend it out past our tube. Now that's looking pretty good. It's about halfway up. I think that will work. We're gonna have to, I just realized something, and this is the part about building stuff, is we're gonna have to cap this tube. So let's put this about right here. 
I just realized this tube doesn't really need to be open like that. So we're gonna add one more really basic shape. Let's add another another um, cylinder to this because we're dealing with radiuses here. Okay, there we go. Let's just make it a little bit thicker. And now we just take this and put it against there. Let's just line everything up. So we're gonna select this cylinder, right? And we're gonna select our box, but we're gonna make the box invisible. Now we're just gonna do a voxel remesh. And let's just make this about 500. And we're gonna perform that voxel remesh. And now we cut away our door space. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these and we're gonna go and we're gonna voxel remesh all of them. So here we go. This is what we're left with. We're left with a really interesting piece that we're gonna use on our door frames. Now let's just save this and get it exported. This is where Nomad Sculpt humbles you. You start with, I'm making a useful tool, and five minutes later, you're like, why does this vacuum attachment look angry? At one point I thought, what if Dustin had teeth? He does not need teeth. This is a vacuum, not a mimic. I briefly considered giving it stats, damage 1d6, dust, special abilities removes regret, and weakness Lego bricks. Moment of truth, no ladder, no dust rain, no sneezing myself into another dimension. This is deeply satisfying, the dust is gone, not redistributed, not emotionally relocated, just deleted. So if you want to download Dust in the Vacuum Attachment or the Fingernail of Vecna, I'll leave links in the description below and you can download them free on Maker Build It or Maker World. This is why I love projects like Dustin. It solves real problems, it prints fast, uses minimal material, and doesn't require a 14 step assembly guide. It's just practical maker energy. So if you want to see more projects like this, useful tools, basic shapes, and some questionable design decisions, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Because if we don't make these things, someone else will and they'll charge you $39.99 on Amazon. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. And remember, the true end game of 3D printing is not just printing toys, it's creating the stuff you've been wanting to for years. Dustin. 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 Dustin.